Hey everyone, here's a question from exercise 11.4, 10th question. This is perimeter and area chapter of class 7. The question is, in the following figures, find the area of the shared portion. They have given two figures, the first one is this, second one is this. We have to find out this grey colour portion, the area of this grey portion. In this chapter, we have learned two formulas. Now you learned about two shapes, one is rectangle and one is triangle. We have to apply these two formulas here to get the answer. The shared portion in the given figure, the first one you can see it is neither rectangle, neither it's a triangle. It's a different shape. So how to find out the area of this shaded portion? First we're going to find out the area of the whole rectangle. Since we know length and breadth, you can see the length is 18 cm, it's given. Breadth is 10 cm. So we're going to find out the area of the whole rectangle. Now from the whole rectangle, we have to remove the area of this triangle and area of this triangle then we'll get the area of the shared portion so let's find out so first I'm going to find out the area of the whole rectangle this is the first question so area of ABCD which is in a shape of rectangle so area of ABCD is equal to length into breadth so length is 18 so 18 multiplied by 10 breadth is 10 which is equal to 180 centimeter square. Now we're going to find out the area of the triangle AFE. Okay, and since it's a rectangle, the corners will be 90 degree. Means this will be 90 degree. If this is a 90 degree, you can either take this as a height and this as a base. Anything you can take. You can take AE as a height or AF as a base. Anything. So that's fine. The height and length you can take any side. So here. I am going to find out the area of triangle AEF or AFV, anything. So, area of triangle AEF is equal to, the formula is half into base into height. So, this is equal to half into base. You can either take it as AE or AF, like I mentioned, uh, at angle at point 8 is 90 degree. You can take anything as a base, anything as a height. So, here I'm going to take base as 6 centimeter and height as a 10 centimeter. Cancel the number 2 and 6. 2 1s are 2 3s are 6. So, 3 into 10 will be 30. We'll get 30 centimeter square. That is the area of AEF. Now next we're going to find out the area of the triangle A, not A sorry, E, B, C. This triangle we're going to find out. So area of triangle E, B, C is equal to half into base into height. This is equal to half into base here, like I mentioned, you can take anything. I'm going to take the base as 8 cm, 8 into height as 10. Remember, these two triangles are right angle triangle because at point A and B, they both are 90 degree. You have learned that one of the property of rectangles are at the corners, they are 90 degree. A, B, C, D will be at, are at 90 degree. So we're going to cancel 2 and 8 here. 2 1s are 2 4s are 8. So 4 10s are 40. So 40 cm square. Now we're going to subtract them to get the answer. So area of shaded portion will be area of shaded portion is equal to so from area of triangle that is from area of ABCD we're going to subtract area of triangle AEF and area of triangle EBC. So let's substitute them. So area of triangle ABCD is 180. So 180 minus area of uh, area of rectangle ABCD is 180. Area of triangle AEF is 30. So 180 minus 30 minus area of triangle EBC will be 40. So 180 minus 30 minus 40 will be equal to 110. So this is equal to 110 centimeter square. And this will be the area of the shaded portion. So same thing we're going to apply for the second question also. So let's start doing this. I'm going to erase this answer. 
Now in the second one you can see the same concept we have to find out the area of the shared portion of this triangle it's forming a triangle here but this triangle is not a right angle triangle if it is a right angle triangle we could have got the height and base so if we have to directly find out the area of this triangle we don't know the height here how to get the height we want height from point Q or from T we don't know that so same concept now since the shape is a square shape first we're going to find out the area of the square because the sides are 20 this is 20 this is 10 plus 10 is also 20 this is the area so we're going to get the shape as square so from the square we're going to subtract the area of a uh, triangle PTQ and the TSU and this triangle QUR we're going to subtract same thing like a first question but here we have to find out the area of the three different triangles okay let's find out this answer so for this is second question so first we're going to find out the area of this square so area of this square is square is P Q R S is equal to side square so S square is equal to side here is 20 so 20 square this is equal to 400 centimeter square now we're going to find out the area of three different triangles so area of a triangle P Q T that is I'm going to find out the area of triangle P Q T but if we look at the figure here they have not given the dimension but how to find out it it's very simple see for the side PQ for this side PQ is same as SR right all sides are equal in square so here the PQ value will become 20 all sides are same so 20 and here we don't know what is this PT right since we know the whole side is 10 centimeter and this portion they have given this is 10 centimeter so obviously this PT will be 10 centimeter so we got both so PQ will be 20 and PT will be 10 centimeter so we're going to substitute the value so area of triangle PQ to PQT will be half into base into height this is equal to half into base is 10 and height is 20 you can take anything here cancel 2 and uh, 20 will get 10 here this is equal to 100 centimeter square now same thing we're going to find out the area of triangle TSU this one now so TSU is equal to half into base into height you can take anything as a base here so half into base I'm going to take it as both are 10 so you can take this is write down 10 and 10 so 2 and then 10 get cancelled we'll get 5 so 5 tens are 50 we'll get 50 centimeter square now area of triangle Q U R that is this triangle Q U R this one is half into base into height is equal to half into base here will be 10 and height I'm going to take it as 20 now cancel 2 and 20 will get 10 so this is equal to 100 centimeter square now we're going to just subtract them. I'm going to just write down directly the answer. So required area. This is about the second question. Required area. That is the area of the shared portion will be nothing but from the entire square. That is from area of square which is 400. I'm not writing. I'm just directly substituting. Entire area. Area of the whole square we got it as 400 centimeter. From there I'm going to remove the area of triangle PQT. This area I'm going to subtract area of triangle PQT is 100 so minus 100 again minus I'm going to uh, subtract the area of triangle TSU this area also I'm going to remove it so this will be 50 and then again minus area of the third triangle that is this QUR is again we got it as 100 we're going to subtract them so when you subtract this from 400 when you subtract the remaining one we'll get the answer as so this is basically 400 minus 250 will get it so 400 minus 250 when you do it will get the answer as 150 so answer is 150 centimeter square that is the area of the shaded portion it's a very simple question you have to first find out the area of the whole given figure and then just find out the area of the different triangle and subtract them
I hope this question is clear. In case you have any further question or doubt, you can drop a comment below. Thank you so much for watching.